Welcome to episode five of the Monster Rangers Kraken Thab RPG campaign. Yeah. Uh, last episode, we had a huge dumpster fight where uh, a couple uh, plugs or plug uglies got murdered in the uh, murder bit inside the dumpster. And uh, anyway, uh, now what's happened is that the, a big wagon full of plugs has come around the around the corner and it's about ready to descend upon our hardy rangers. Uh, but let's introduce the rangers here and like one sense about your your uh, your your character. Um, Stucky now has a bloody nose and black eye from the fight. Here we go. Stucky. Oh no, I'm Stucky. Oh. Hi, I'm Reggie. I'm playing a cheeky, lighthearted kid who also likes to steal things. Uh, I'm playing Floyd, and I'm loyal to the bone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we're Jimothy, two brothers that share the same body, and uh, we're terrified. We just want to get out of here. So you guys find yourselves in the uh, alleyway. Uh, it's cold. It's dark at night. It's probably 3 a.m. And a wagon of uh, is barreling down at you guys full of 12 uh, angry looking, or 8, sorry. It grows every time. 100 <laughs> one angry plug ugly uh, thugs. Well, they all have top hats, caterwampus that are made out of metal. What and they all it? usually have clubs. And these guys all a lot have axes, though. They seem to be fond of Double bit axes, and they're coming. And somebody, I think you, just ru yelled "run." I think it was actually it was actually Reggie. Reggie yelled like, "run." <laughs> run! <laughs> dramatic. So, uh, uh, should we roll an initiation? <laughs> no, it's based on your notice. Play the game should we roll for initiation? Your notice. <laughs> so, based on notice, uh, I will tell you that Chitter Vickner looks up. He, I think he saw it too. He, he just runs. Three. He sees all three of the carts. <laughs> yeah, all three of the carts. He just starts running the other way. Okay. So is he running? We're so stuck. the street we came in on, he's just running straight back down the street? So Ali, it's coming from this direction, the street. He is running that way. Where are the carts? The carts are they're, coming they're from coming that. this way. From inside the hallway. Or the alleyway. Alleyway. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We are in the street. Oh. Alley. I, we should just run back the direction we came. That's what he did. Yeah. That's, that's what I feel is the right. uh, you guys Second he's going to hop out of the, the dumpster. Mm -hmm. we, sh we try to help him out. Hey, hey you pull him out quick. Oh, you're probably covered in blood. I'm, I'm, well, my face is bloody. I don't know. Well, yeah, probably from the spray of... Yes. Well, we still have the dog to deal with, don't we? You do. Yes. Okay. What's and that other, that other guy, too. Oh, right. He's just done. So he's still fighting you guys. So this is happening all simultaneously. Run! While you're fighting, hound. You so, ran. Did I already run? You already... I, yeah. You're like, I skedaddled. Oh, you're right. I did, so you're so I running. help you. So now we're wow. stuck with you, who's inside. Okay. Um, and I'm that ready. dog is... He wants to fight you. Yeah, I'm just gonna... How how close am I? Like, am I face arms? to face. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just gonna... Snap to snap. Grab its head and put my thumbs through its eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we should note that this... Uh, we do not... Uh, don't <laughs> don't animal, animal violence of any kind. Even imaginary. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Hold on, do we get tokens? Uh, yes, but let's, okay. Well, how many do you need? Uh, two. Wait, so he gets all three back? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> I, I, guess oh, I, don't I don't need anything. I'll take eight more. I've already got three. Okay. I need, I only have two. All right. Yeah. Superb. Oh. So you grab the hound. Poor dog. It, uh, it actually bites you as well. Um, Where? Well, what happens is it you go to grab its eyes, and it it you kind of like what you do is you find your hands are inside of its mouth instead. <laughs> okay. And it's about ready to bite down, so it hasn't bit you because okay. it was kind of a a wash. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Your hands are in his mouth. It's gonna bite the crap out of your hands. You give it a smile. <laughs> um, Glasgow smile. And what type of dog is it? Mastiff. Okay. It's like that figure I showed you this yeah, morning. Yeah. Mastiff. Mastiff. It's just like. You get it out if you want. It? It's right behind you. Mm. Don't worry about it. Yeah, right Java? There. No, it's the right Java. <laughs> <laughs> is that like his Beethoven? 
no. So my thumbs are in its mouth, but yeah. it hasn't closed down yet. Right. Um. So maybe I can go like pull out, happening. punch. All right, you can punch it. Yeah. Okay. Or would you would actually just fight, wouldn't you? Come on. Yeah, that's a great. You punch it. Have you ever seen it? It's, uh, it's still alive and okay, yeah. but meanwhile, um, <laughs> who, so who else is here I'm around in, the dumpster? Yeah. You're, you're, I'm, you're crawling out of the dumpster. Yeah. You're out of the dumpster. So the, he's not even in. He hasn't. I've never been. The in shovel guy is gonna is trying to hit you. Not the shovel guy. The, uh, oh, the bell so. guy. The bell guy. As we're running past him. Jimmy, he switched sides. You ran off already. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to yell run. Oh, jeez. I know you were. Oh, and you ran. Okay, yeah. so there's nobody. So there's really nobody here then. There's no well, one. I got out of the dumpster. You still have Mike H knocked out in the dumpster. Oh, no. Oh, oh shoot. That's true. Not, sorry, not, Mike, Mike, not Mike H. Sorry, Dave H. Dave H. <laughs> Damn, Mike, his cousin's not here to say <laughs> So you have a guy to contend with who has a. a he looks like a plug ugly guy, and he's pulled. He pull, he's pulling out a. a, a, a club. Oh. oh, I like how you're like, you pulled out a shink <laughs> club. Um, <laughs> so, so is Dave still in the dumpster? Yeah. But you've forgotten about him until, yeah. until he brought it up in your memory. That's right. That's good. Yeah, that um, doesn't happen now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, then, then, <laughs> Bob Lapina will save him. The shells. <laughs> <laughs> the shells have him now. So, he's a shell person. Um, that guy has, um, so he's in front of me? Yeah. Is he the, like, he's the guy with the dog, like, the one yeah. that had the armor? I'm gonna flip him in the trash can. In, okay. With me in it? Another, I'm trying you're crawling out, I think. Oh, right? I am? Another I thought you were. What about the dog? Oh, you're fighting the dog. Yeah. Is, the, is it starting to catch fire? Because there was a lit cigar that went into the dry peanuts. Yeah. Oh, what? There's something <laughs> smoldering in there. Okay. <laughs> All right, They're probably so, still moist. moist. So, is he, like, standing, <laughs> like, I climb out and he's, like, standing in front of me, like, yeah. ready. So I just, it looks like he's ready to just hit you. In fact, uh, I grab him by like because. What's your What's your notice speed? What's your Oh, notice? Uh, it's the uh, average. He hits you first. Okay. Uh, he does not do a very good job. He does. Um, he does a, a fair attack on you. A fair, All right? Yeah. So I'm gonna use my fight to deflect it. Yeah, Try to, to parry block the blow. It. Boom. Stuck doing so good. You get four minuses. Uh, close. Mm. How does a how does a negative? That'd be a yeah. That'd be a below a four. That'd be a terrible. Oh. So you ain't doing so hot. Uh, so that's a fair. It's fair than fair terrible. fight. It's a fair fight. Okay. You uh you take it. You absorb it. Bonk. Mm -hmm. Now it's your action. All right. So I'm just gonna grab him by like the like the thighs, like underneath the buttocks. And I'm just gonna okay. Oh, suplex. Sure. Yeah, I'm a suplex him. Suplex. Yeah, that's a I put on term. my luchador Pablo peanut mask. <laughs> 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 he just it at the gift shop. Yeah, I just got it at the gift shop. I still want to draw Pablo peanut now. <laughs> you should. Okay, so I'm just gonna. You want to roll one of mine? Yeah, just roll because I'm just gonna take that. It's a lucky one. All right, so that was two pluses that hit uh, one of them. So. Uh, that's a superb. You're a superb? Fine. Yeah. So you surprise the crud out of him. He doesn't know that this kid's gonna, one, be... He thinks he's just... A kid. Fighting this kid. Suddenly this kid has enormous strength. Puts his head between his legs almost and lifts him up and <laughs> yes. hurls him head first into the dumpster where he crashes into it. And, uh... And, yeah, um... Blah, you hear him like, oh! Like, it really kind of hurt him. Mm. So he doesn't... His, his legs aren't moving all so much. Nice. The wagon is just charging at you. You're like, oh, God, time to go. Mm -hmm. It's just going to leave me there? Uh, you just put another guy for me to fight into the No, thing. you got to... Okay, well, you're... If I'm you, fighting a mastodon. A mastodon? A mastodon? You're fighting a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> fighting <laughs> this dinosaur. town has everything. Oh, man. Well, let's um, let's, let's go back Let's go back to the mastodon, though. Maybe, maybe you could communicate with him since you're also a dog. Oh, even though I just killed its owner. You didn't. Well, I didn't oh. kill you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, what ooh, you, loyal to the bone? Maybe that could possibly. What were your other? What your were your other aspects? Um, a creature of the night. Okay. And then obsessed uh, with the moon. Yeah. The one. So yeah, maybe the other one is uh, 
loyal. That's I don't know how you can. You're loyal to your kind. Maybe, Maybe I can, can deceive it to act like another dog. Well, you could dominate it. Oh. Show it who's alpha. Okay. What would I use for that? Rapport. I think you pee on it. Or just yeah, it would be rapport. Don't you think? No. Yeah, it would be rapport. Not oh, deceive. Well. Or Maybe deceive. provoke too. Provoke, like intimidate sort of thing. Provoke, try to provoke. Start humping it. Just assert dominance. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna provoke. <laughs> oh, that's a mediocre. Oh. All right, Good. it bites you. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the alpha dog. <laughs> yeah, it's trying it to show that too. it's dominant. <laughs> and it uh, it bites at you not terribly effectively. Should I roll a dawn to it? Doesn't no, it? it's, okay. um, I mean, yeah, you should. Okay. But it's not a really, uh, not a very powerful. It's a dodge it is. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a great. Yeah, you avoid it. So what are you trying to do now? Are you trying to get away? You trying is it to my turn still? Yes. Okay. So We're just um, trying to resolve this hound issue. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have meat. Oh, I'm going to grab the meat and throw it. Oh. It. it does have a belly full of meat already. But maybe it wants more. That's true. It might. It is a hungry mastiff. I'll go with that. Okay. Because that a hungry mastiff is his And that's going to use shoot, correct? No, you th- you don't have to roll to throw okay. a piece of meat. You can reach okay. in your bag and do that. The trick is whether or not you can influence him to go after it. Okay. Like you're going to tell him, like, go boy, here boy, or anything Good like boy. that. Anything yeah. like that? Go get it. Fetch. There we go. Fetch. Um... It uh, it actually considers that for a moment. Uh, it it would, but when you say fetch, it kind of gets excited and wiggles its tail a little bit. Uh huh. Fetch, fetch, go get it. It does. Yes. It actually runs and goes nice. to get it to please you. Okay, I'm gonna crawl out. There you go. Okay. Get Dave. <laughs> it's your responsibility. Uh, it's my responsibility. Damn it! You are the leader. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you gonna leave Dave, or are you gonna get him? I'm gonna grab him with these. There's two dead body. There's one unconscious You're body, loyal two to the dead bone. body. What? You're just loyal to the bone, so you Aww. can't leave Dave H behind. Right. I clamor, uh, like up into the like, and I. Fish Dave out, I guess. I don't know. Is he yeah, there? You can, yeah, yeah, you, you can reach him. to hand him to you. Oh, I don't know. I thought you ran. He's out. So you two are there. Yeah. You start pulling him out, and you hear these guys. Yeah, yeah, there they are. There they are, and they jump. They're jumping out like. And so you grab him by the legs. Sure glad we ran. Yep. <laughs> and uh, hold on. You grab his arms. I'll grab his legs, and we'll both run at the same time. Okay. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you can probably carry him on your back, right? You're bigger than Maybe. all of us. Okay, true. He's young. That is true. That is one good thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah so I'll you do just that. grab his arms like yeah. this. You can't fight, but you start yeah. running. Yeah. yeah. So now I need from you guys is some athletics. That's that's imp- this is important. All right. I'm not gonna. You spending a? Right, you gonna go. spend I'm one? Go. I'm not very fast. Sorry. Oh, thank blood you. For the blood guys. Let's just break <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fantastic. Oh, that's really not good enough. That's really fantastic. That's not good enough. <laughs> that's good. That's very good. Is that, what's I have a great. Yes. For athletics. That's good news. Um, why don't you fellows make um, athletics too? You've got a head start, but for your running, do you get a sense of how how this has gone? Uh, I don't remember what my athletics is. Average. Okay. You have an average athletic? No, I just rolled it. Oh, I rolled two minuses. Um, I have a good. All right. So, you know, they catch up with you after a while, but you have a head start, which is good. You guys weave your way through, and you guys get out of town into the 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 desert, the road oh. in the darkness, and um, and you guys do too, and you end up meeting up, you know, about half a mile out of town, and you hear the the wagon is uh. You know, it was kind of chasing, but you guys, you know, managed to, to lose it for a I'll bit. over it, yeah. Yeah, and uh, they're clearly looking around. They're kind of bordering the town and searching, and they've spread out. And there's, you know, there's a good number of these guys. Then you see, then you see some, uh, they get distracted, thank goodness for you guys, by some, some a police patrol has been, you know, seeing what's going on because there's all this hollering and whooping and stuff. 
and dead people in garbage cans. Well, we'll get, we'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, where are you guys going now? Back to camp. Uh uh-uh, uh, I'm turning around. I'm leaving David. No, I'm gonna go back. Okay. Yeah, we're. I go back. All right, you guys uh, make it back to town. To a camp. little to okay. camp. Sorry. So we've yes, been gone camp. for at least like a couple hours. Five hours. Yeah, probably. There is a guard at the gate. You make it back to the camp, okay? Except there's a guard at the gate. Oh. I think we should just... Hold on. Your I have face an idea. is all bruised and sore. I have an idea. Let's say that David H. ran off, and then we had to go chase him, and then he fell down and knocked himself out. I'm sure he would... He, he, is David H. awake at this point? Hey, does he ever wake up? Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> is there three dead bodies? <laughs> Uh, did we grab the wrong body? He's breathing. Okay. Oh, oh. but That's he ain't good. awake. Not awake. Did we grab the right body? Yeah. His face is all just bruised and swollen. His nose is pushed to one side. It's oh. like I think black and write blue. Write your diary about this, you little. We think we should. T- <laughs> we think we should take ownership and just admit to what we saw because we think that the rest of the rangers need to know what we saw. Yeah, because these guys are obviously the ones that, that were, like, chasing the owl. Let's just not say that we killed two people. Uh, well, we, we didn't, didn't, we didn't, kill, okay. didn't kill anybody. It was a you thing. That was mostly a... He is covered in issue. dried blood. Uh-huh. He looks like I'm... And it's all over his uniform, all over his face. Um, he looks we're, scary to look We're at. actually startled because we didn't know anybody died. Uh, oh, Chitter. yeah. Chitter's probably what? still drunk. <laughs> no, no he's sick of me. Well, man, that, that peanut ale is real strong. It's pretty personal. <laughs> yep. Mm. He still has one of the cups, the peanut cups. Glass if if we roll in hot, maybe we won't get in trouble right away. We just come in, we need a medic, we need a medic, that sort of thing. Mm. Well, this is the time to make that decision. That's what I'd like to do. Okay, go ahead. I say, help, we need a medic, help, as we're coming approaching the gate. Right. So, uh, oh, I take my flags out and I start. Oh, there we go. Trying to sign he's, something. He's trying to sign. Stuff. What's what's going on out there? Says this uh, this ranger gate gate ranger. He runs up. We've learned of plug uglies, correct? What happened? Yes, you have heard of plug uglies. You've been taught about plug uglies. Yeah. Um, we got a fight. The, to you. Oh, the, I try to sign the plug uglies. What happened to you? Plug uglies. We Where? were attacked. A chewy. He pulls out a hatchet. A Chewy. Oh, really? What are we doing in a Chewy? They, uh, no time for questions. We got a hurt got man lost. here. We got lost. He looks at you and he like he gets pale. What did you do? It's my blood. We. <laughs> That's a deceit. <laughs> it's my blood. <laughs> Don't worry, it's my blood. <laughs> okay, he kind of buys that for that. What happened to him? Uh, he got. He, he, we got in a fight, a scrap with the, some plug uglies and the chewy. Well, we pick him up. Okay, I pick up the ranger. We're the ranger about... says to pick him up, talking about Dave H. Oh, well, Dave H. Is he on my back? back? Right? Yeah. Oh, you still, are you still yeah. carrying him? Oh, I yeah. thought you were showing him. No. Oh, okay. Well, then come on. Sorry, I didn't understand the situation. Okay. Pick him up. I was like, okay, I'll pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> takes you to. Uh, <laughs> Take him to the the medic tent. Okay. Okay. There's, um, the nurse should be uh should be up, and so there's a nurse in there, and she's like, oh, all of you come in. Oh, she's like, sit down, sit down. It's like, oh, come on in, and so she starts looking at David. Lay, lay him out here on the bed, and uh, this gate ranger is uh is taken off, and uh, he's soon replaced with um with uh. I'm assuming our leader, right? Yes, the uh, uh, with Ruck. Uh, Ruck. Ruck. Ranger Ruck, Ranger Ruck, and uh, so Ranger Ruck is uh, looking sternly as he enters the tent, but doesn't say anything. And um, she has all of, he has she has all of you sit down, but she looks at David and she does some smelling salts, and he wakes up and his face is all and she's secure and she gets some his face is all black and blue and she puts some ice on him that she somehow makes. Mm-hmm. And she comes over, looks at you. What happened to you? I got punched. You punch a lot. Like a, like a few times. Does this hurt? She starts like Everything twiddling hurts. your nose. Ow. Yeah, it really hurts. Your face is just, you can barely see. So here, put some, put this on. She gives you an ice bag after she wipes and cleans up your face. Well, you're not cut. Are you hurt? 
Reggie, are you hurt? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just very uncomfortable being because I like I know we're in trouble, so like you're trying to make you trying you to make feel yourself guilty. Look small? Yes, I'm trying to. Just like, the nurse. We have a nurse actually. Hey, uh, no, no, I, I, I'm fine. She looks at you. Sit down. No, this isn't my blood. She starts wiping it away. <laughs> Whose blood is it? George. George. George who? George. George. Stepping. Here, wipe yourself up. She gives you a, a wet rag. And it takes you a lot of rags. Yeah. Are you hurt? All right. So after uh, she gets you guys into stable condition, no one's really terribly... I mean, you're kind of really... You and you and uh, Dave are the hurt, most hurt ones, but you just scrapped up. And so uh, Ruck is like, all right, follow me. He takes you not to, not to the tent, but he takes you to the, uh, the ranger station, the, the big station. Mm -hmm. And he sits you all down. He says, tell me what happened. Um, Why were you not in camp tonight? Let's start there. Because of Pete. <laughs> Ooh, <nice. laughs> Throwing what does Pete have to do with this? He told us that there were some bad happenings in Chewy. Well, all right. Yeah, he told us to go check it out. And then left us. So you do what Pete says now? He's Pete? the leader? No, he no. said that he was gonna he was gonna find out what, all the strange happenings, and we couldn't let him do that. And he lied to us. What did he lie? He said that... He said that there were... Uh, there was a, a creature loose out there. A creature? Uh-huh. Can I roll the sieve? Hold on, would that be the sieve? Yes. Okay. Just just know that Ranger Rick probably knows a lot more than we do. Rock. 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 <laughs> Ranger Rock. Rock. That's up fair. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he's buying it. So, uh... So you decided to go investigate yourselves? Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, we thought we were going to be rangerly and get to the bottom of weird happenings in town to help the town folk if something bad was happening. And we and did. What's happening? Plug uh, Uglies. Plug Uglies are taking over the town looking for us. They're taking over the town? There's a lot of them. Well, they're kind of all over the town. How many are there? Uh, At least 30. He's well, running, he's writing this down. Well, there was ten, or there was eight that came in the wagon. There were... Th that first squad that was there first before the wagon. Yeah, it was like eight or... So there's like a, almost 20. And who knows how many more. We were just trying to uphold the ranger code of studying. Of protecting. And believing in ourselves. In, our <laughs> <laughs> in ourselves? <laughs> Dave's like, yeah. There's a... Uh, yeah, they had a trap, just like the kind of trap that the owl bear had. Oh yeah, the trap. Oh, that we didn't check out. Yeah, we did. It was big, but we didn't was... see if it has that gal, the gal stone. Is Chitter trying to hide the fact that he's been drinking? <laughs> he hasn't said anything. Oh. But he still has his glass. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not trying to hide it at all. <laughs> I'm legal. Yeah. <laughs> just minding my own business. True, he wasn't in it. At and you, he goes to Chitter Vickner. You're the old. You're the oldest here. You're supposed to take care of these boys. That's why you're here. Aside to them. Well, you know, when Pablo Pina was talking to me, and he said, "Come in." <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I'm sorry. It is delicious. I failed, but it is good. I think I'm at the love of my life. <laughs> that Pablo. Every guy. night. <laughs> I met Rose. <laughs> wow. So Rose. Ruck is like, <laughs> go to go to bed. We'll uh, we'll start with your uh, reparations tomorrow. Ah, this is why we we study and protect. In fact, forget that. I think you'll stand at attention tonight for the rest of the night. How well, long is it? Morning, here. right? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be close. Mm -hmm. Thirty morning. minutes. Oh, you want to stand all day? No. no. <laughs> Come on out. Right here, single file. Let me get you guys to stand at attention. I tie, the, I tie that ice pack to my face. Okay, right outside. This is right outside the mess hall. 
So oh. morning comes, the sun comes up, and you're all standing there. And uh, people start going to the, the breakfast bell rings at 6 o'clock in the morning, bright. It's only, like you said, about an hour, two hours later. And people start going past you, but you've been instructed not to go to breakfast today. Oh, come on, Mike. And so you're just standing there. And, uh, and uh, Pete, Pete even sees you guys, things? but he doesn't say anything because he's also in trouble. Uh, most of Crack and Thab is in trouble. And they go, oh, it's the Cracks. Hey, the Cracks are in trouble. The Thabs. Hey, Thabs, what'd you do? This, uh, guys, this is not the kind of attention that we need to be drawing to ourselves. As this is going on, I take little bits of uh, meat and I'm just eating it. <laughs> okay. I'm eating the rest of that butterscotch. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like one person Speckle away scotch. from you, so you can't quite... You guys stand out there in the sun. Your your knees are buckling. They're shaking. And at noon, the head, the head ranger, comes out to talk to you guys. Who's the head ranger? I'm going to tell you. In a minute. So a, a man named Warden Riggins comes out. He also has a patch, just like David H. He's a. He looks like he's in his early twenties, of all things. But he's got a crisp uniform. And he holds himself with a great deal of confidence, but not arrogance like uh, Wux. He goes, uh, so boys, uh, here you got yourself into a scrap last night. Yeah. So I admire, I admire your gumption. Uh, going out there and, uh, you know, looking over the town in our, our camp. So I do admire that. I can't penalize you for that. But you... Got beat up, and uh, you encountered plug uglies. And so what I worry about is that you going out on your own is a way to get killed. The plug uglies and monstrologists have no qualms about murdering you. They hunt rangers, like the monsters. You know, they're, they're sportsmen about it. So these are just the plugs. They're just there. They're hunting The us. low rank. Yeah, they hunt. No, they're like actually actively hunting our camp. They are? That's what they said. They said well, that they know that our camp's around here. So you may have just, uh, you know, led them more hints that we're here. Dang it, bitch. I'm just, I'm just warning them. You know, we're already in trouble. We can't get into more trouble. Uh, we could stand for another day. By being honest? Yeah. So the Kraken Thab... Uh, group here, the, the Kraken Thab, Thab clan, you guys are in some trouble right now. Mm-hmm. You're, you're now at the bottom ranking of all the different uh, groups, different uh, parties, and uh, you are, um, you're, uh, what's it called when you're on probation? Double, probation. double secret probation? Probation. So, uh, keep your noses clean. You can go have lunch now. Nice. We must be starving. Yeah. You are yeah. starving. I run. Should we get back to the mess hall? Uh, and today, uh, it's uh, it's some some soup, of some sort. So everyone gets a bowl of soup mm-hmm. and some, uh, Is some there meat sourdough in that bread. Soup? Mm-hmm. Okay. They tell you there's plenty of meat in it. I put op- extra meat in. Other it. options of soup? No. Just one soup. One soup. Big stew today. Mm. Soup of the day, actually. Later that afternoon, uh, a police a police vehicle arrives at the uh, I didn't do it. at the camp oh, and uh, stays there for the afternoon. I avoid that incredibly, like like the Dickens. Okay, I don't because they can't see me. Mm. So, um, time passes. You guys continue to go back into your. Your uh, routine. routine of doing class, exercising, learning more about your branches and about being rangers and even, but but more about the monstrology side now. Classes have been added for plug uglies and how, again, they, um, they have no qualms about murdering us. So it's really dangerous to... Uh, to uh, encounter them okay. and don't while you're a junior. What do we start learning stranger. about their methods? 
The methods are pretty simple. Like the, the plug uglies are their lowest ranking members, they're, and the majority of them are plug uglies. They're not educated, they're toughies. They're tough, they use chains, guns, um, if they can get a hold of them, uh, axes, clubs, baseball bats with nails in them, things like that. Guns are kind of expensive for them. But the monsterologists are aristocratic hunters, so they are huntsmen. They use rifles of the highest quality. They're handmade often. They have scopes, and uh, they're really trouble. And uh, we really don't want them to find this base. That's the other real big message. If they find this base, we have to move it. Mm -hmm. So um, we have charms on the base that the Conjure Guard have been putting up daily and changing them daily to change the 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 camouflage of our camp, but um, it's super important that we're not found. So, okay. Hmm. Is there like specific rules for when we when a monster ranger encounters a, a plug? Um. Well, I mean, they have specific rules for you guys, being that you're not full on rangers yet, which is don't, you know, don't don't, interact. Yeah. don't <laughs> run, <laughs> just, just don't. run. Uh, you know, adult adult rangers, you know, might have different. It, it changes permission. I mean, they have to encounter them, but they don't want to take them on head on and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can so I ask, um, Ranger Ruck, why is this police car here? Um, well, it turns out there was uh, there was some murdering going on in town, and they were real curious about it. Oh. Are, are they going to be here all day? Yeah. Be here as long as they want. In fact, uh, they've uh, asked about asking you fellas some questions. But we've, we've deferred them for now as best we can. Okay. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I run away. I just, I just, I just slink away. I'm just going to evacuate myself from this conversation. Yeah. All right. So, what do you guys want to do now? Play cards. Keep our nose. Yeah, we, 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 we play cards. We, finish we go the back game. to a game of cards that's probably still sitting there. When, when anybody comes up to us while we're playing cards and suggests that we do something, this we immediately we no. turn them down. Yeah. All right. It is time for the Kraken Thab clan to choose a leader. Leaders are expected... So, if you would like to be a leader tonight around our fire, which is the whole... Crack and Thab clan, you're allowed to give a speech, and then we all vote for the leader tonight. Finally. It's mm -hmm. finally the night. Did we ever establish that that pack that or was that no we did We decided to mess with them and say, You were the leader, Reggie. Remember? Oh. Yeah, remember? So you the first so uh, <laughs> no. be prepared whoever's gonna give a speech or if you're gonna give any speeches. So the first speech is uh, Peter Wux. Uh. So Pete steps up. Hello everyone, it's me, Peter Vuck, Wux, and uh, from the back sorry. of the crowd you here. Boo! <laughs> Boo. I, uh, I think I should be the leader. I've shown uh, leadership. Boo. I, uh, that's rude. Uh, skull face, that's Boo. rude. Boo. That's racist. Boo. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm loyal, I'm dedicated, I'm hardworking. You're a coward. And I'm going to make sure that uh, each of you have a, uh, have a, a chance, we, we should bring in a soda fountain here. Well, now hold on a minute. This so guy's I'm going to work towards bag. bringing us Wait, a we soda get, fountain. We know phosphates? We phosphates. So we could have free pho phosphates every day. So if, if you vote for me, I'm going to make sure that there are free pho phosphates for all of us. Thank you. I'm Vote Pete. He sits down. How old is yeah. Pete? Yes. Okay. We know. Uh, I think Pete's isn't Pete around seventeen. I thought he was sixteen. I th I, he was sixteen, older. seventeen. Yeah. Next up is uh, so this is uh, this is your scout or ranger leader. Uh, next up, uh, Ruben uh, Glotner. So Ruben steps up with his tank, <laughs> and he goes. <laughs> He sits down. He eats out of a tube. <laughs> I'll put a rock in that tube. Uh, next up is uh, 
David H. What? What? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Dave. Uh, Listen, I don't know. I think that I'd be a good leader. Um, I like the pin a lot. I think wearing the pin would be pretty neat. And, uh, you know, you could do worse. It's true. Probably. Mm. Like with uh, that Wux guy. So vote for, vote for Dave. Who's gotten the best I'll give you. I'll give you a cigarette. This is him. <laughs> I'll give you all cigarettes. Who, who's gotten the best response so far out of all these? Well, aside from Pete, probably. Really? Not great. Bubbles. He's got a few followers, though. He does. Mm. All right, I'll I'll go. What? Who do the vote? Who do the girls like? Pete. They kind of like Pete. Ah. All right, I stand I stand up. All right. And I'm like. You go ahead and stand up, maybe. I, go, I think I, if he's in camera. How's it? How's it look? How's it look? We're good. All right. Let's do uh, the speech. So I go. I don't think well, that I. Do you get on the stage or you just stand and start talking? Oh, I go up there. Okay. I, but I'm. <laughs> what do you want me to get up on the table? No, 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 no. Hey, no. You should blow your horn first. first. Oh, yeah. So I take my horn, I blow it. And I what go, sound does it make? Uh, uh. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's so a little, little, little oh. pomp and circumstance. And I go. I don't know if I'd make a good leader. But I did lead us into the charge to Chewy for the Owlbear. And, and that turned out okay. It was a little dangerous. I Again, I don't know if I'll make a good leader, but at least it'll be fun. And also, Pete's a coward. And I sit down. <laughs> On the stage? No, it is, it is okay. a chair. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, I also stand. All right. Oh. We, we also stand and get on stage. <laughs> okay, oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Car. Oh, man. You, you used that. That was good. We, we would just it. like to say that we don't want to be the leader, but we don't want Pete to be the leader. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go back and sit down. That's pretty good. <laughs> Chitter Vickner? Hey everybody, I'm Chitter Vickner. I was a butcher for over 36 years. We know. <laughs> Victor's, Victor's Meats. We could cut the bacon so thin that you could see through it. We, want thick we, <laughs> we could make lamb chops so tender and delicious you would eat them and sleep for days. I think that you should vote for one of these fellows. He points at him because he's a good, he's a good lad. He's not a backstabber. If you want stabbing, come to Victor Meats. <laughs> we stab any kind of cow, any kind of cow you want. Vote Victor. Meats. Meats. <laughs> he sits down. All right. Any other uh, candidates uh, for the leadership pin? For the uh, Kraken Thab clan? <laughs> you don't No. Hey, I'll go if you go, Mike. You can't vote? Okay. No, 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 no. It's no. like co leaders? <laughs> <One of those. laughs> like everybody goes up there just to say something. <laughs> I think we just, yeah. tease, we just tease Reggie some more. Yeah. No, I don't want to go. All right, no, no, no one has to go. Stop making me. So if there's, are there any other, uh, are there any other uh, candidates? Do we get to vote? Yeah. Oh, you? Yeah. None of the girls want to be a leader? Well, you're gonna have to write those There's two. Oh yeah. I do so agree. let's see. Uh, let me think here. You know, Coriander McKenzie would go yeah, for it. Yeah, she. Yeah. Hello, she I'm Coriander McKenzie, and uh, as you know, I'm a, uh, I'm going to be a Scare Force pilot, and uh, I think you should vote for me because I am. Uh, I also am hardworking, and I have a, a good head. I am uh, top in my class for studies. I've gotten straight A's so far. And um, I think I would make sensible decisions for our group and stay out of trouble. So, if you want to stay out of trouble and see uh, Crack and Thab at the top, then vote for Mackenzie McKenzie. Uh, vote for Coriander McKenzie. That's me. Mackenzie McKenzie. Mackenzie McKenzie. She's <laughs> down. Do we just ride down who we want? Yeah. Can I, uh, is there somebody next to me? Sure. Bill Rill sit next to you. Okay, can I can I go? No, I'm not good at this. 
Sure. You know yeah, how to we'll write? Find. I don't know how to read or write. You're in, you're, in, you're in a bunch of classes with him, so he, yeah. you know him pretty good. There you go, bud. Okay. Yeah. Keep practicing. Okay, yeah. No, I know how to do the S's really well. Okay. <laughs> but how is going to give back, back to you? Hey, I bet Pete voted for himself. Well, of yeah. course he did. All right. Who did you have write it down for you? Bill. What if he didn't write it? What if he wrote down the hill he wanted? You know, like. You don't think Bill would do that, probably. Bill's not. Bill does my test for me. He does. He does. He does a test every time, and he's getting a B plus. <laughs> he can't get a few answers from here to there, but. Uh, so uh, we have a so uh, uh, sorry the uh, uh, Ranger Ruck yeah. steps up and like all right we've compiled the votes and uh, the leadership pin goes to. Miss Coriander McKenzie. And so she steps up and goes, and she gets this, this pin with a ribbon on it. And it says, uh, uh, leader. And, uh, <laughs> I know. And, uh, has a ribbon on it and she wears it proudly. And, uh, and, uh, anyway, then the, the rest of the night you guys have games and so forth in the tent. Awesome. She seems like she's a pretty good sport. She comes up to, uh, and goes, uh, so, sorry you didn't win, Stucky, but, That's but okay. you did good. I liked your speech. It would have been fun. I go to Coriander, I go, Coriander. I voted for you. Me too. Oh, thank you. Hey, man, back up. I said, hey, I voted for you. Thank I also, you. We, we also go up to Coriander and kind of like bump them out of the way and like, hey, Cory, yeah, we, we voted for you too. Oh, good, thank you. You didn't vote for me. You're wiggly. I voted for, I voted for you first, Coriander. Oh, Thank you. I need Bill to vote for you. Because <laughs> I don't know how to spell. So guys, <laughs> or we won't. Gather around. So I heard that there are other people nosing around town. And I think we should go investigate. No. no. I no. agree. No. 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 I agree. No, this is serious stuff. They say they don't want us to go out there, but I think they want us to go out there. Mm. Um, as... I'm usually not the one that break rules, but this is important. And she's the leader. I well, agree. hey, there's... I go with my leader. Okay. She's the leader and she's cute, too. All right, yeah, okay. Just because... All right, because my something character going on in town, has a crush I think. on her. Oh, yeah. I... My character has a crush on her, too. Oh, well, well like... We they... can't take everybody, though. <laughs> they, um... So here's, here's the deal, since you're the leader. You're going to have to take responsibility if and when we get caught again. Yeah. If we get caught. We're not going to get caught. We're going to use our minds this time. We, we used our last time? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys aren't, you know, you guys are good, but you're kind of go-getters. You're not really, you don't think through your plans very well. We, but... we think through things. Hey, we're the we ones who made it out of the camp without getting caught. Yeah. No, we still did kind of get caught. And I threw that guy in the dumpster. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear about that part. Oh, I didn't hear about no. some guys. Oh, so then we all start regaling the tail? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are fighters. That's pretty good. Well, you have the you have him. He's I'm like a lover, crazy. Not a fighter. You have a crazy uh, <laughs> beast man. That's helpful. So we're gonna need some tough guys like him. Um, so the thing is, I know we shouldn't go out, but I think there's something going on. There's something going on in the peanut town. A chewy. A chew. Uh, Bless you. Well, we gotta save Pablo Peanut. Is what you're saying. We gotta do it for Pablo. Is it different people? <laughs> what, what do you? What information do you have? We just heard there's, you know, with the police were questioning and they were asking, you know, we overheard through the grapevine that they were, you know, they were like, you know, well, was there anyone else? No other people. And just some suspicious stuff going on in town. Um, there's also a carnival I want to go see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never gotten to go to the carnival before, and the carnival's in town. What's a carnival? Do they have meat there? Yeah. <laughs> we're starting. We're starting to think that she doesn't want to investigate anything. She just wants to get really people to go to the carnival. With she her. really wants hey, to go to the carnival. She's like, they have candied it? apples. I love candied apples. Yeah, have, you ever, apples? have you ever had a caramel apple? No. Are apples I've a, had a caramel apple? An animal? <laughs> <laughs> well, in a in a kind of side of kind of way. Does it make the meat? So anyway, the carnival is just outside of town, and I figured we could go there and we could look around and see. 
if anybody's suspicious there. We could blend in, right? Because yeah, there'll be a lot of other people. We could go. If we you wear disguises. Stucky perks <laughs> disguises. Stucky likes disguises. I right? Like disguises. Right, kids. Kids can blend in. Uh, we decide to go. I I like the idea of making you happy. <laughs> <laughs> she, she blushes. All right, I'll go get some other people too. No. no. Hey, why? Why not even Pete or hey, Pete? I we don't need anyone else. Charity runs off. So he's voted that he can't go because he's too weird looking. She's like, um, he's good, but like, I don't know if we can. Like, can you disguise him? Ooh. Do we need the dog man? Oh, he's already in disguise. <laughs> okay. We can make, we, but can, we can, like, we're going to a dog. carnival. Maybe he's, like, a bearded lady. Could you walk on your legs and hands? Yeah. Like a dog. Yeah. So, so here. you want me to be naked? What if we, yeah. <laughs> what if we get you and she, like, <laughs> we can make a leash? Okay. And you could carry, you could hold him. Stucky. Is could? that demeaning to you? To you? No, yeah, it's you fine. As long as you let go when I need to fight something. Okay. We'll, we'll take his leash. Okay, so tomorrow night. Okay? Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to need some supplies. And a kiss. No, no, no. Never disguises. Never disguises. No, gross. Never uh, disguises. Okay, I don't know. I'm just trying to find something. Okay. Why do we need to Get ready for tomorrow. Or kid. Get disguises. Get ready to go. We're going to meet outside the gate at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. At the leaning tree. Leaning tree? It's just outside of the gate. It's a tree good for leaning on. tree? There's a couple that lean. No, the white leaning tree. Mm. You know. I do. I do. Okay. Okay, bye. That's how you should go to. Bye, Coriander. 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 <laughs> yeah, bye. She leaves. All right. Um, as soon as she leaves, I nudge Reggie. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> right. Or we're like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You two are always in the way. I just wanted to date her. Hey, I got an idea. You you just back off of this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a little tip. Guys, guys, fellas, fellas. Girls are gross. Let's get our heads in the game. We got to go get some supplies for our costumes. Disguise. David H. has a flyer from the carnival somehow. He's like, look, guys. Look, guys. <laughs> We're going to the carnival tomorrow, I heard. Look, it's a masquerade night. Is his nose broken? Yeah. Oh. That was a crooked. He's got a patch on his eye. Oh, I should just you, I said you can go as a pirate. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does that. Did you say yar? Yar. Y y yup. <laughs> he looks like a miner. Okay. <laughs> he thinks he's like, hey, he thinks we're a all miner. No, a miner. We're all miners. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, what preps are you going to make? Any preparations? Or okay, we're if gonna any. get some we're gonna get some clothes and Stucky because his craft is making clothing. Oh, see that's pretty good. So um You gonna make some clothes for everybody? Yeah, I'm gonna make some clothes for everybody. So since it's a masquerade ball, um, it's not a it's a carnival. It's a car masquerade ball carnival. <laughs> it's a masquerade carnival. Alright. Um, masquerade night. Yeah, I try to make uh since it's easy, I'm gonna make frilly dresses. Everyone? Because masquerade. Yeah, for everybody. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go as a crow. Oh. Um, I'm gonna wear. The old guy's I'm... like, oh, that's okay. Um, I'll just uh, I'll wear something other than a dress. Well, what do people wear at masquerades? Uh, they wear masks. We're gonna masquerade. Oh. Can you make masks? Yeah, I guess I can. Make masks. In a dress. Rangers, by the way, wear masks, too. Oh, we do? Mm-hmm. Can you make me a crow mask? Well, let's see. Uh, do we one. procure some supplies? Yeah, I mean, all those crates, you, yeah. can, you can go through them and... All right, is there a lot of to, but and stuff like that? Sometimes he has to unlock the locks for you, okay. but yes. Yeah, we start getting... I just try to get fabric and some thread and needles. Thread needles are very common here. Yeah, so get that. In fact, they have sewing class. All right. Is so I do, like, an overall, like, roll for... Crap. Yeah, just one. But this is not a sanctioned mission. Like, you we're better roll good. We're sneaking out. So if we're gonna start taking supplies and stuff, we gotta be careful not to get caught. Uh, I got a good. Good. Yeah, he does a he does a 
surprisingly good job of this crow mask and other masks. He makes a variety of different masks. What kind of other masks do you want to make? Uh, so crow, again, an owl. Owl? An owl. Yeah. Uh, Dave H. like, I want that owl. That's like the owl bear. No, this is mine. Dave, what No, you I want the owl. No, Dave. Come Dave on, bud. Gets, Dave oh, here's a, a cigarette. Puppy. He puts a cigarette in your mouth. No, Dave gets a puppy mask. No, I don't want the dog. That's you his. No, he's, he's going I want a dog. dog. Oh, I'm um, so confused. <laughs> we have a dog. Is it a fake dog? Okay? No, put the dog mask on him. It'll work. No, no. It won't. <laughs> Dave, you can you can get the flower. I've made a flower one for. Oh, I want the come on. Flower with one eye. With one eye. <laughs> Make it better. I don't want a flower. Wow. Make it neat. Fine. What do you want? Like you know, like from the movies. <laughs> Jaws. Oh no, Jaws. Talkies. Shark. Oh. I mean, no, so I gave him the I gave him the the owl one, and I I have a goblin mask. Oh yeah, thanks. You're a good good guy, man. Thanks. Uh, so I I'm an owl bear. So who's all who's all going? <laughs> like most of the crew, mm. like uh, like all of Kraken Fab is going. Okay, We're, so there's like there's like a flower. Pe pe there's like a like a just like a <laughs> like I just made a tiara. Like Did a, you make like any crown. peanut ones? Oh yeah! No, wait, no. Scratch all that. <laughs> I make a Pablo peanut cost or cost everybody. Oh, everyone has a Pablo. everybody got a Pablo peanut cost, and I made him a Pablo peanut costume, like a full who for the wolf? Yeah, no. I Pablo peanut. It. Everybody gets a mask, and then he gets a Pablo peanut. You, but it's right. really shoddy because it's just fabric. Well, it's actually pretty good, though. It's Pablo Peanut. It's actually pretty good. Fine, I'll be Pablo Peanut. Okay. We're all going to be Pablo Peanut. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I'll be the... We wear the Pablo <laughs> Peanut mask over our normal mask. So how are you going to sneak out? That's what I want to know next. Ready? How are you... People have done well, things... This was this is a lot the... easier, but now we're all dressed as Pablo Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight what's happened is everyone stuffed their bed sacks to look like... Their bed rolls to look like they're sleeping inside of it, you notice. So everyone's got this... Hey, lot. Can you make a, a puppy mask so that I can put a puppy mask in my, in my, in my bed? No, there's only Pablo Peanuts here. Yeah, <laughs> you only have time for... So much Pablo Peanuts. Okay. I'm, I stuff it like a dog. Okay. Well... If we have to use the gate to get out, we're going to need this, a distraction. Can you jump? Dave's like, what if we just go over the wall? Yeah, because that's what we're I not thought. supposed to. We're not Probably supposed to. Some it says sort we're of magics. Magic just say that. Shaka. Just tell us that. Hey, David. All right, Dave, you go first. All right, Dave, you go over the no, wall. No, that's okay. We'll just use the gate. <laughs> you, want, like, you ready? I'll go with you. No, I don't want to. <laughs> he knows it's an unpopular opinion now. He doesn't want to do it. No, I don't, come on, it's guys. Not cool. I want to see what happens. Um. All right. So we start sneaking out. Okay. Any plans? What's the plan? What's the what's the what's the plan? Right before it, uh, all this is happening, I throw over a meat over the wall to see what happens to the meat. Okay, you throw it over the wall. Would you still have the meat? Like, would this be like? It's like slime meat at this point. It's like you throw basically slimy <laughs> okay. blocks still, of goo. Okay. Still. So you slide, you throw it over the wall, and you hear a crackle. And then, uh. Uh. A ranger runs along the wall and runs and looks over the outside of the fence. I hide. I just like walk like it was normal. Like it only takes him like four seconds to be there. Okay. We gotta get through the gate. We gotta. Ooh, Korean. And then some, That's what I'm some folks with leader. long, yeah, like tall pointed hats this end up over operation. there. Mm. Alright, Korean, yeah, what's, the, what's the play? Oh, we're supposed to meet outside the gate at 8 o'clock. Well, how do we get out of there? Out oh, there. we need a distraction. So, um... We take it upon ourselves to get the distraction. Yeah, you guys make the distraction, and we'll go and we'll meet out there. So we go out. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. So the, out and then you're the... What leader. were we going to say? <laughs> so, so uh, I have an idea. Um, so, is there any spells on top of the gate? Over so, it? You don't know. I think I may jump it. No, don't no jump but then it. you'll be the thing that crackles and everyone looks at. Yeah. Um, so I go, or we go in front of the gate, like kind of off to the side. All right. Bit. There's a uh, there's a uh, a lady ranger there now, and she's uh, eating a sandwich. 
Um, I start. We start a conversation with him. Hello. Mm. Hello there, Skull Ranger. What you eating? I got myself a uh, a sandwich. Uh, a peanut. Oh, I got just what's it called again? The rain. The sorry. Well, are I'm you wearing out. your peanut mask? Pablo and Peanut. What's the uh, canned food again? Yes, I Canyon Dan. Canyon Dan. Dan. Seven a Canyon Dan sandwich. Dang it. Oh, man. Which number? Oh, this is four. See, it's green. <laughs> um, I am wearing the Pablo Peanut mask still because I forgot to take it off. So, um, oh. Pablo oh. Peanut out. Oh. Um, oh, Pablo Peanut. He's funny. Do you like my mask? Yeah. Stucky made it for us. Are you here, Stucky? Hi. Yeah. I'm it's... also here in the costume, and I just start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's in her spec. funny. You guys are funny. Yeah. Which, which, uh, which is your tribe? Excuse me? Your the tribe. peanut no, tribe. No, no, all of you. Like, which oh, tribe yeah. are you from? The peanut tribe. You know she's talking Kraken. about Kraken Thad. Yeah. Kraken Thad. Um, you actually reveal it? I don't, no. don't know any of the other ones. At this oh, point. well, you make one up. This has oh. to be a weird name. Thunderbirds. It needs to be a place name. That's a weird thing, but that's fine. Thunder. Thunderation. Thunderation. All right. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so yeah, who wants to deceive and say we're Thunderation? I don't have a good deceive. No deceive. We're here. from Thunderation. <laughs> She's like, she just laughs. She likes his dancing. Yeah. Um, Make him dance more. Okay. Okay. You just keep oh, you got. Oh, Do you want to dance with Pablo Tina? Little. Okay, let me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Get to the camera. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So she starts dancing if a little bit she, too. If only she knew. This is. Right. She kind of looks around, dances. While we're just, I love that Pablo Pina. I have to admit. Sleep. That's what we should know. She got into some of that sleeping stuff from the medic. <laughs> nah, dude, we got Pablo Pina. That's all we need. All right. So what's so now what? Um, so you got her dancing with Pablo Peanut. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's get out. Is Pablo Peanut like backing away from the gate? Yeah, yeah, I am slowly. <laughs> yes. Uh, we we try. <laughs> exactly. We're like, we're, yeah. Because she'll never know it's him. Oh yes. <laughs> Do you get her to come further out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So we she's, she's we, use this, we use this we use this to to slip out. To slip out. All right. So it's down to just what? Do you go out or do you stay here too? Um, we try to convince her. Um, we just realized you don't have your mask. You should go get one from the the um. Ness Hall. Uh, Ness Hall. Hall. Really quick. We'll Pablo. Watch for you. Pablo Peanut. Well, I have to stay here at the gate. Okay, It'll awesome. only take you two seconds. Yeah, follow Pablo Pina. He'll get you there. <laughs> you coming with us. I know, I'm going to Well, now I have to stay at the gate, fellas. Maybe you could get one for me, though. But and then she she starts to, like, go back to her, her it, thing. We're outside. Yeah, yeah you guys are outside, yeah, at least. Outside. We, she goes back. Tree. <laughs> yeah. So we're stuck inside? I'm going well, I'm I'm to just... dance my way out. <laughs> <laughs> she, starts, she starts dancing again. I'm walking um, out of the gate. <laughs> I wish I played his song. I, 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 we we uh, walk like kind of behind him so that he's our blind spot as we also go out the gate. That's so bad. That's <laughs> <laughs> so bad. But but someone me, give me, but, 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 someone but, give me a deceive. But, 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 okay, I will. Or <laughs> just someone. <laughs> you should spend a point on it. Oh, okay. You should spend a point on it. Can I re-roll it? Please. Yes, that's fine. This is... This is so ridiculous anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just, want it, to to <laughs> just want it to work. Should I get a plus two? Here then. So then we get through. Yes. Is, is that okay. what you just spent? A plus two. two. No, I used it for a reroll. You can't do two points in the same thing, can you? That's true. No, 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 not the same thing. Want I help? Use Somebody needs to do this. Somebody. I also try to dance as I'm going out. So I'm not super suspicious. Okay. Okay, so am I? Double deceased. We're both going to roll deceive. Sure. Yeah. Should, I, should I use no. a plus two? No? Okay. Leaning tree, huh? Leaning tree. Oh, I did better on the last roll. Oh, shit. What was your result last time? Uh, my result was a, uh, a, uh, a good. Oh, you should have told me that. Good is good enough. Good okay. is good. That's solid. 
No, good is solid. Good is well above average. So you guys dance your way out before she realizes that you're you're like she's dancing the thing. This is funny. She's like, wait a minute, you get in here. Run. <laughs> yeah, we run. I run while dancing. <laughs> she laughs again. <laughs> that distracts her. Dude, we gotta keep this. And then I, I, I act like I throw like an imaginary thing at her. Okay, she to, tends to catch it. Yeah. <laughs> she realizes that. She's mad. <laughs> yeah, what happened? But she chases you for a while, but she's a little, a little older, and so she doesn't want to run so for long. So she runs back to the gate. Nice. And pulls out another sandwich. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> you know, she'll she's never, like, she'll never that admit happened? that this happened. <laughs> like, that's the whole right. thing. I think she'll wake up in the morning and think, was that a dream? Yeah. All right. Which so you guys make it to the leaning tree, Either which dreams. you all know about. Mm-hmm. What's the leaning tree look like? It's just a white tree that's very distinct. You've all passed it a bunch of times now off the side of the road, but it's off the road enough that you can kind of hide. And when you finally get there, they're like, oh, finally you guys are here. How the heck did you get here? Well, we tricked her. How? We were just... We put out sandwiches, and she ch- she went oh. after them. Oh. Oh. You know what we did? We used the power of Pablo Peanut. <laughs> As, right then, he, he comes up dancing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the entire time argument. we were walking, I was dancing. All right, well, He's let's... He's got a fever. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's go. She's okay. excited. So she she starts, uh, you guys go up the road about halfway to town, and there's a side road, and there's a big, there's a big, um, a big pole that has a paper mache mask, and it says carnival, and it, but it's like 20 feet off the ground, it's a huge big mask, and it's like this, this kind of jestery guy, and it has a, you know, a big arrow, and you see there's families and people walking in both directions, having come from it, you know, young families are, they've had enough, and then you know, older people and kids and teenagers are heading there now. Mm-hmm. And you can see it actually just, uh, just like up on the hill. Like it's only like another 500 yards. You see it's lit up and it's like, there's a big tent with stripes and all this, and there's rides, rickety wooden rides and stuff. And it's all lit up with torches and, and it's the carnival. And as you guys get up to the carnival, you see they're taking tickets. Oh, oh crap. don't worry, guys. Pablo Pina uh, got this. I'm just gonna walk past dancing. Follow me, children. He's okay, cool it's time that. to dance. All right, let's see. A, let, I need a, a definitive Pablo Peanut dance here to get you into the carnival. So, do I have to roll or do a dance? Uh, roll and then show us the dance. Okay. Actually, do the dance first, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll okay. decide on. You have five seconds to dance, and how good the dance is. Okay. If it's good we enough, we'll give you a bonus. Them, then we'll do it. Stand up and dance. Five, oh, four, up. three, two, five, four, three, two, one. Pablo Peanut. Oh, whoa. Okay. Does he do any, he's beckoning people. He's doing any mouth stuff? He's, he's beckoning people okay. to come and dance All right, with them. Good job. All right, I'll give you a plus one. Okay. And I'm also going to give myself a plus two. Oh, jeez. What's the, what's the dance? Would that be athletics? No, we're using Deceive, right? To yeah, Deceive, deceive kind of makes the mind. I mean, <laughs> a dance of deception. Yes. <laughs> it is. So it's originally here. Yeah. You got that, and then... Plus two. Yeah. A plus so one. It's a, no, but then I added a plus two. He, oh, he that's gave epic. A, gave him a yeah. Point. Oh, that's geez. So he does a crazy dance. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and, and, and the, guy, the big guy that's, like, taking tickets is like... Rope peanut. It's like thinks it's like an official peanut yeah, thing for the, the town. So you guys all do this line, a Congo line. You make it into the, into the crazy yeah, carnival. Part of the show. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. The peanut people are here. The, the peanut, peanut people are finally here. Yeah. And so the peanuts. Uh, the peanuts. <laughs> Pablo peanuts. <laughs> <and> the peanuts. <laughs> and so that's uh, the Pablo peanut and the peanuts are where we're gonna leave off uh, this session. Oh. <laughs> session number five. High point. But. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching our tomfoolery, and uh, this this episode is brought to you by Pablo Peanut and uh, Dan's Katie four. Dan's number four and the Steam Crow, and uh, finally thanking our our participants, and we'll see you guys again Bye. next week. Bye. Bye. Dance, dance, dance. Pablo. Let's no. Let's get up. Let's get up and dance. Let's do the Pablo Peanut dance. What is it? It's like come hither and like you gotta do this. Gonna do that. Do this. Pablo Peanuts here. Pablo Peanuts.